Hey everyone, I'm Lori. I'm here with Hope today. Hi. Today we're continuing our braiding basic series and we're going to teach you how to do the basic fishtail braid. This is one that I used to struggle with, but I've practiced it a bunch and I've mastered it now and I have some tricks to help you and troubleshoot your own if you struggle with it as well. Let's get started. Okay, so I've started by pulling your hair back in a ponytail and I'm going to split the hair into two equal sections. And then I'm going to, so we're going to be working with two strands, but we're going to be moving little sections from one side to the other. Now I'll show you how I'm going to start. I'm going to start on the side here. And the smaller the section of hair that you add, the more intricate it's going to look. So I'm going to take this from here, cross it over this section that it came from, and I'm going to put it right here so it joins the middle here. You want to make sure it doesn't go underneath or anywhere just right there at the center. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Long from the same spot on the other side. Grab a section of hair, move it over. Make sure we add it in at the middle. Now this one I'm going to come right down underneath and add another section of hair from this side to this side. And on the other side We'll do the same. And here I'm coming down just behind that. And it's important that you start it the right way because if you are just picking up from the top part and you're not coming down from where it begins from the ponytail, it's going to give you um, a very funny bottom to your braid. You're going to have hair that just kind of strings along until the very end and you're like, whoa, what's wrong with that braid? So the very beginning, make sure it's coming and pulling right along like that. We're going to do the same thing on the other side and here. And then it's very repetitive. You're just grabbing your section of hair and at this point, like if you kind of let it go, you can see where the hair hangs and it's this hair here that's hanging at the very topmost, that's what you should be grabbing to add in. And you always want to make sure to add it right to the center. Okay, so making sure I'm grabbing the hair from here. Okay, let's bring it over, holding it in the middle. And same on each side. And you want to make sure each side should be hanging kind of like about the same. Like you're pulling hair from here on this side. If you let that one go, you can see you're kind of pulling hair from the same part. And as you go along, you want to make sure that you keep um, even like that. I used to do this braid and it would end up so lopsided that I hated it, but um, finding a few tricks to Getting it to stay even has helped me tremendously. And it takes a while, which is another reason why I did not like doing this. But the more you practice, the faster you can get. You just get used to grabbing that little section from the right spot and adding it in over here. You can do it with smaller sections of hair for a more intricate look. If you're in a hurry, you can do a little bit bigger. Okay, when you get down to the end, you'll find it starts getting a little harder to hold on to the sections of hair. And when it starts really slipping out of your fingers, I like to just finish it with a three strand braid. You can't really see the detail at the bottom anyway, so I'm going to take that section and make it a middle strand and just finish it out a little bit longer and secure with an elastic. And you can let it hang. And it should be fairly straight if you are adding evenly and from um, the same parts. So if you went up too high or too low when you're adding in the sections, it might be a little lopsided. And that's okay, because what you can do is you can just kind of loosen it, come back and pull where you need to if you want to straighten it out. And then this is one you can pancake too. If you don't like the tight look as much or you want a little bit more of a sophisticated look, you can come along and you can start at the bottom, go up on one side and pull it out. Just 
ever so gently pulling the edges of it. And whenever I pull the edges, I hold it um, onto the bottom still. So it doesn't come entirely apart. That there, and it just softens it up a little bit. And you'll see, it's a messier look. It's more of, you know, your boho, bohemian style. And messy is in right now, so even if you mess up, it kind of, you can cover your mistakes and embrace the messiness of it. Go. And that is how you do your fishtail. And the underside of your fishtail should look like that. Now, like I was saying at the bottom, if you're not pulling hairs, from right below here and taking them like that. If you're just grabbing from the top part of your um, sections of hair, what you're gonna find is you have strings of hairs from the top running all the way down. So if you've done it properly, it should look like this. And there you go. And once you've got this down, there's a lot of different things you can do. It looks great as a side ponytail um, or you can Use like a clear, you know, a little elastic, put it in a ponytail, and then you can snip it out and loosen the style up a little bit more. You can start at the front and do braid backs on each side. There's a lot of different ways to incorporate this into your hairstyling. Thanks so much for watching today's tutorial. I hope that it helps you to master the fishtail braid at home. If you try it and you love it, please share a photo on my Facebook wall or tag me in your photo on Instagram. I'd love to see it. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly tutorials. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.